Hey y'all, it's Victoria from Victorious Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited. I get to share with you Erin Condren's 2024 planner launch. So this launch includes their soft bound planners, um, their coil bound planners that are just for the 2024 calendar year. It also includes their focused launch, their desk pads, their new yearly seasonal sticker book, and a few other nice things. So I'm really excited to get to show them to you. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek here and then we're gonna do a top down view in just a moment. So one of the new things they're offering during this launch is a new perpetual calendar. So I probably can't see it behind me, but they have an acrylic perpetual calendar. It's sitting back there on my desk. It has a place to hold like your pens or scissors or something like that. And it has little inserts for the months and you move it along where the numbers are. So this time they came out with something a little bit differently. So this is their perpetual calendar. And if you can see inside there, they have the numbers and you can slide this piece over where each of the numbers would be for that correlating month. So I had mine set for September and of course wrote our launch date there. All right, so that is their new acrylic perpetual calendar. Um, they also have their brand new sticker book. So I'll flip through it when we do a top down view in just a moment, but this is the cover. It is going to be very similar to last year's sticker book, which if I'm being completely honest, was not my favorite sticker book. The sticker books in years past have always had, they've always been a bit bigger than this, but they've always had the, a little bit larger of a decoration style sticker, like a deco sticker. And then they have always had like their functional stickers. So they've always had like four rectangle flags and a box and two circles and two small flags. And I could almost guarantee what was gonna be in each one. But the last two, last year and this year, they made them a lot different. And I'm not certain that I'm a huge fan of it um, just because it seems like all the stickers went into a shrinking machine, like the Honey I Shrunk My Children and the stickers are tiny. So that's just my opinion. We'll do a top down view in just a moment and I'll show you each page. Um, and then they sent me three soft bound planners. So they sent me an eight by 10. This is the canvas with the asterisk on the cover. This one's the hourly layout. Um, and it's got like a mauve type color to the cover. They sent me a wisteria soft bound. This one has a wildflower um, interior design and this is the horizontal layout. And then they sent me one focus. So this is A5, not sure if I mentioned, but that wildflower wisteria was an A5. This is an A5. This is in their focused weekly, um, which means it will also be horizontal. So, and that's a black vegan leather cover. So um, in just a moment, we will do a little top down view of those. I'll get into some details of whether they are the same as last year because I used a softbound planner last year, rather this year. I used a softbound planner earlier this year, um, so I can kind of compare it. I also used a softbound planner the year prior, so I can kind of compare the three years and um, what they look like for each one. All right, so let's go ahead and let's dig into the details of the planners and the accessories that I received, and I'm gonna try to do it pretty quickly, so stay with me. So really quickly, we're going to flip through the focused weekly planner. This is January to December of 2024. Um, this has a very pretty professional style pinstripe on the interior. Um, your first couple pages are your year at a look kind of page with um, notes section here. You have holidays listed for 2024. And then you have a page that you can list important dates for each month of the year, kind of like a perpetual style. Then you automatically go into your monthly spread. Um, one thing to note about this planner, it does not have tabs. They are, your monthly views are not marked. Um, you can add monthly tabs to this. Erin um, Condren sells some vegan leather ones that would go really well with it. Um, the focused does have your previous month and your next month calendar view at the top. Um, and then it's just like a basic black and white spread, no design. Your dashboard page for the focused planner, a little different than the regular life planner. Um, they do still put your month um, view here 
and then you have three line sections, a checklist section, a blank section, then you have a dot grid page. Um, and then next you would go straight into the week. For the focused planners, it's a little different in that their focus layouts are always horizontal and they always have a notes section at the bottom of each week. Um, it is a line section and a checklist section and that is for each week of your monthly view. You can see here at the end of your month you have two lined pages before it flips into the next month. Another thing to note about this planner is it does have two ribbon bookmarks. You have one that you can mark your month with and you have another that you could mark your week with if you'd like. The end of your planner the end of your planner has lined pages. Um, after your last week in December, it moves straight into lined pages for notes, and then your next year at a glance for the last page of your planner. All right, so really quickly, we're gonna go through the A5 horizontal layout. This is in the Wisteria color. Um, this is also a weekly planner. You can see how it has the really pretty wildflower design on the interior cover and a really pretty just layout spread of that wildflower design. The beautiful day begins with a positive mindset. Um, layout kind of similar to that focus. You start with the year at a glance page with your notes at the bottom. Then you have a dashboard style for your 12 months of the year. Um, and it says, have enough courage to start and a part to finish. You're rolling into your heritage and awareness observances with a line page, a line page on the back, and then we're gonna start into the month. So today I choose joy. It has the decorative monthly um, page with the wildflowers, and then it goes straight into your monthly view. So a little bit different than the focus collection. You don't see a previous month calendar. You also don't see a future month calendar. This one is just your current monthly view with notes to the right. Then you'll go into the standard life planner dashboard page. This has the background of the wildflower design and the standard dashboard page with the blank, the checklist, aligned, and a dot grid section. And you'll flow straight into your weeks. All A5 softbound planners from Erin Condren are a horizontal layout. They because these have to be, you know, designed so far in advance and they have to be put together so far in advance, not to mention these are yearly calendars. So you only have a small amount of time to actually get these sold before they have to be discounted. So they don't really dabble into making other interior designs for this. I know I've seen quite a few people say that they should make a compact vertical. I personally would like a compact vertical, but the compact vertical isn't a popular enough style. Horizontal is like your tried and true layout from you know years and years ago. That's the tried and true layout. So that's why Aaron Condren kind of sticks with this layout. It's a selling layout. Why mess with it if it's not broken kind of thing. So your weekly view, just to note, does have your monthly calendar at the bottom of each week. You have Monday through Sunday and then a line section at the bottom. Um, so each week will look very much the same before you have a lined page, your decorative page, and your monthly view. One quick thing I wanted to point out in this planner is a little bit different, of course. There's quite a few differences in this and the focus line. Another big difference is that your weekly life planner only comes with one ribbon bookmark. I don't know why they choose to do it that way, but the life planners that come in the softbound planner, they only have one um, ribbon bookmark. Um, the end of your planner, the end of your last week of your planner, you have your lined pages very similar to that focused planner, and then you have your next year at a glance to do future planning here. So really quick comparison style. This is 2023's planner. This is 2024's that I was just sent. This is in the Etta V softbound cover, so there's a little bit of difference in color here um, as far as the ribbons and your interior design. I did place um, 
monthly tabs on this planner. You can see they do not come standard with monthly tabs. I can't remember where I purchased those, maybe Passion Planner or another planner company is where I purchased the tabs for this just because I liked them a little better than the vegan tabs that stuck out really far. You can kind of see how these are almost flush with the side of this planner. So as far as that goes, Erin Condren does not tab their softbound planners. Um, and the interior of these, once I got to looking, is very much the same. Um, of course, the fonts are different in a floral design and a colorful design, so that's what you'll see there. I don't use the 12-month boxes, as you can tell. Um, you carry the same heritage and awareness observances in both of them. And you have your colorful page before your monthly spread very much the same. Let's go to a month that I didn't use. And you can see it's very much the same. Um, the only difference I would note, and I'm honestly not sure if the Inspire Design has it, but in this colorful softbound from this year, there is no artwork at the top versus 2024's will have artwork at the top if you purchase their planner. I'm pretty sure the new Inspire Design is the same way. As far as box sizes, and notes sections, they are exactly the same as the previous year. And your weekly section has the, oh, let's look at the dashboard page really quick. Your dashboard page laid out exactly the same. You can see here. And then your weekly layout, again, the same. So your neutral or more floral designs you can see aren't nearly as boldly blocked off day by day. Um, but as far as lines in the day, spaces in the day, that is all the same from this year to next year. So that is your side-by-side -side comparison of the A5 horizontal planner. All right, so last but not least, the last softbound planner I was sent is this canvas. It's very much like a mauve color of a vegan leather cover. Oh, it is mauve. Ah, it says mauve on the front of it. This is in the hourly layout for next year. And the interior is the asterisk or snowflakes as I like to call them interior. And this is again the eight by 10 size. A lot of people really like this size as their carry on, especially like I've seen some people that work by appointment like hairdressers, massage therapists, will use this hourly style eight by 10 as their planner. This is the year at a glance with the lined pages at the bottom, very similar to the A5 size, except for in a larger size. Your 12 month box says here, same quote goes across the top. Your heritage and awareness observances with your lined page on the right. Another lined page before you go into your monthly. And I really like how big these boxes are. And then you have your lined notes to the right. Again, the um, Life Planner softbounds don't have the month prior's small calendar. They also don't have the future month small calendar. Um, I believe Erin Condren used to put those in those planners, but um, they are not in these planners. You'll go into your dashboard page. Um, with your lined page, very much the same, just in a larger scale for eight by 10. They did make this hourly planner like they did their coiled life planner where they added the habit tracker, two habit trackers to the bottom left of your page, right underneath your lined notes section for your week. The hourly times do start at 6 a.m and they run to 7 p.m. with three extra spots at the bottom for you to either write in more times, you can meal plan, um, things like that, important times. They also added the blank boxes at the top. I've seen a lot of people do weather tracking here or um, important, if this is an important date, like a birthday or anniversary, I've seen them right here. Um, and your weeks are your weekly views are the same throughout the month before you go into your next month. You'll always have your lined page before your next month. 
Um, again, to note with this life planner, it does only come with one ribbon bookmark. Um, unlike the focused collection um, with two, this one only has one. It also does not have monthly tabs, just like the other planners we went over. And the end of your planner is exactly the same. It will end with the last week of the month before you roll into some lined note pages at the back and then your future year at a glance. All right, so a more close-up view of the perpetual calendar here. Um, you can see how this has holes inside and you would slide it to whatever month that you have. It's very similar to the acrylic perpetual calendar they have right now. This is a dry erase or wet erase kind of material, so you can write on this and wipe off. All right, so these are Erin Condren's 2024 mini calendar sticker packs. Um, these are not a lot different from years past. The only huge difference I would say was that this year they are the more ombre style coloring that matches the uh, monthly sticker books that they send out. Um, other than that, the six teardrops are the same, the two lists are the same, and the four flags are the same. Um, with each one, they the teardrops have an asterisk in them, and then you can see here how the gradient goes for the ombre look inside the month and the flags here. And again, those correlate really well with the um, designer sticker book. It's their monthly collection sticker book. I'm going to flip through this pretty quickly just to show you what each month looks like. I've already gave my opinion on it earlier in the video, so I won't do that again, but this is January. This year they have like little birthday cakes or little celebration circle sticker icons, um, which is a little bit different than years past. Um, also in years past, there's normally been two circle stickers. There's also normally been four, um, two flag stickers, which this one isn't exactly a flag, but I guess that was what they were going for there. Um, and then the washi tape is a little different this year as well, as far as their designs for that. Um, and this one says, cheers to 2024. The February sticker sheet at the top says, you are so loved. Again, you have the birthday celebration style icons and your washi here. That looks very much like an ombre purple to red color washi style. Um, then you have March and it says spring has sprung. Again, very similar style stickers as previous months. And these each have, in case you haven't seen, these each have their own like colored foil, if you can see that here at the bottom, and each sticker has like a foil accent to them. If you've watched my channel at all, you know I'm not a huge fan of foil, so that's another negative, but that's something they've kind of always included in their uh, monthly sticker books. This one says you matter just as you are. Um, oh, and the washi here. And we'll go to May. May says, live life in full bloom. Has little bee stickers. I will be using those. And then some floral washi. And then we have June. It says, don't forget your vision. A good mid-year reminder for the month of June. I like this sticker. It kind of looks like sand and waves crashing on the shore. And then their washi kind of looks like a top down when you're looking into the ocean. So, and then I like the little conch shells. For July, it says, keep your eyes on the stars. And it has some floral washi. August. It says mindset is everything. And this year they produced some of the colored checker washi, which um, the colored checker seems to be something that they're moving towards September. It says hello fall. 
and the washi. This washi looks like the background of one of our fall covers that they released with just some purple metallic accents. October, it says trick or treat. And the washi are their eyeballs that I know they've made a cover for before. Next up is November, it just says thankful. And some like geometric style colored washi. And December, it just says celebrate at the top. And their washi seems to be their plaid washi. That is your monthly collection sticker book. All right, so this is the desk pad they sent me. This is their focus line that they release every year. Um, these, of course, will have more muted colors in each of the months. You can see there's like a periwinkle, a light purple, a blue, you know, very muted colors here. The color at the bottom matches your month at the top. Very basic style desk pad with your month. You have a place for this month on the left and then a list on the side of the month. So that's your basic desk pad from Erin Condren's Focused Collection. All right, guys, so that is it for the softbound planners that I received from Erin Condren. And if you want to view the more colorful or inspire planners, there are a few um, sister affiliates. I know Sherry's Plans has the inspire a5 softbound planner. I also know Desiree Plans has that planner. So go check their channels out. They have the Inspire version of the softbound planner. They also have the 8x10 vertical planner. So if you wanted to see a little bit different layout in the larger size softbound planner, they have those. So go check those out. Um, definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think of the softbound planners the desk pad, the stickers. Um, definitely let me know in the comments what you feel about those. One huge thank you to Tori, Sam, the Erin Condren team for sending me this, these products to review. I always get so excited to review these products. The softbound planers, I've always really liked. Um, I just struggled with staying consistent in them. Um, the softbound planners that I have used, I've used for daily scripture writing. I have used for daily journaling. I have used for a, you know, catch everything, take everywhere style planner. And I really like the softbound planner for that reason because it is so portable and it's so light and you can just jot things in it. It helped to kind of keep my life together for the first half of this year before I dove into the compact vertical for the first time. So, Stay tuned, I may just jump back into a softbound next year. Who knows? It just seems to be more light and portable. So who knows? Stay tuned, we'll see next year. But um, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I love to chat planners. Um, also, don't forget, my affiliate link is in the description below. I, of course, would absolutely 100% love if you used my affiliate links to shop Erin Condren. Using my links, whether to shop or to purchase, really helps me grow my platform here. Helps me to have the opportunity to review products for you ahead of launch or on launch so that you can make a more educated decision about your planner or planner supplies. So definitely check out my affiliate link below. I would greatly appreciate any use of it. And yeah, I think that's it. Until next time, guys.